What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're rocking out with another absolute banger of a team that features Aerodactyl, Life Orb Dialga, and Zacian. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button and join the Jeans community. It really does go a long way. Shout out to all my subscribers. You guys are real ones. But uh, let's get started here with today's team preview, starting off in that top left corner with the one and only Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl is such a cool Pokemon, and it's been being seen a little bit in Series 12. So I'm kind of digging that. I'm kind of digging that. We have a cool off-meta Pokemon like him being used in top ranks. A lot, lot of fun. It's definitely a lot of fun. But it's rocking Unnerve alongside with the Focus Sash as item and ability. And then we're here with this lovely little support speed control moveset with Rock Tomb, Bulldoze, Tailwind, and Protect. Second Pokemon on the squad is going to be Dialga. Telepathy ability alongside with the Life Orb. Really good item, really good ability for this guy. Then we got Roar of Time, Flash Cannon, both first stat moves, and then two heavy hitting coverage moves with Earth Power and Hyper Beam. Middle left is going to be Zacian. Pretty much all I have to say, but this one is actually a little bit different. It's a normal item and ability. It's got Iron Head, Sacred Sword, and Protect, but it's rocking quick attack. First turn priority with Zacian, can't go wrong with it. You cannot go wrong with it. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is Rillaboom over here, and Rillaboom is just one of those Pokemon that works so well on any single team. It's got the Grassy Surge ability, alongside the Miracle Seed to make its grass moves do more damage. We got Grassy Guide, High Horsepower, Fake Out, and Protect for a fairly normal moveset for any Rillaboom. Bottom left hand corner is going to be our Choice Scarf and Thing. It's going to be good to get into battle and just outspeed Pokemon and go from there. We got Sacred Fire, Bulldoze, Snarl, Fire Blitz, alongside with Inner Focus as its ability. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be this lovely little Umbreon. Umbreon's really good at support and doing big damage to physical attackers due to its foul play as its move. We got Inner Focus, Safety Goggles, Foul Play, Snarl, Yawn, and Moonlight for its moveset. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, Mental Code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Aerodactyl and Umbreon team. I am absolutely loving this. Look at the team that we're going up against in battle number one. Mewtwo and Ho-Oh team with Steelix? Steelix? I've never seen Steelix on a rank ladder. He also has Porygon 2, Blastoise, and Weezing. Okay, yo, that's sick. That is definitely sick. How should we go into this one? How should we play it? I feel like we definitely want some speed control. So I'm going to lead Aerodactyl, get that Pokemon in this battle. And the next Pokemon I want to roll out with could be Zacian for turn one. Could go Zacian. Or we can rock out with uh, Dialga, which wouldn't be too bad. Definitely want to bring Dialga, but who do I want to lead? Zacian or Dialga? One or the other can be really good. Hmm. Hello is definitely going to come in there, so we're going to have to watch out for that Pokemon. We're going with Entei to kind of like counter it a little bit. It's tough. That is tough. I'm going to go with Entei just in case we need Snarl Drops. But well, you know what? We might just go into Rillaboom. Rillaboom's solid. Rillaboom is solid. We're going to go Zacian. We're going to go Rillaboom. And then uh, last but not least, we're going to rock out with uh, my boy Diablo. Actually, I might switch out Rillaboom for Entei. Let me see this stats. This is Attack and Speed. This one's Attack HP with G-Max. That is tough. What do we want to go? What do we want to rock with? I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna keep what we have. I think we are gonna keep what we have. But our only problem is gonna be that Ho Oh. Right there. If we can get rid of that Ho Oh, we should be fine. But Ho Oh is gonna be a huge problem because it's super effective to my Dialga and it is super effective to my Sassian. That is rough. That is rough. But yo, if you guys haven't heard, I've been saying this in multiple videos. Boys got Twitter. Go follow my Twitter. Link is down in the description below. Jeans YouTube over on Twitter. We're gonna be posting content, all that, and it is the best way to send me rental teams and chat it up with me. Just tweet me your rental teams. DM me if you guys just wanna tweet at me, say something. Go for it. I'll probably message back everybody who tweets at me. Hit me up. Hit me up over there. Hit me up over there. This guy's going to lead the Blastoise. He's going to also lead the Weezing. And we're going to get rolling out with this battle. But uh, from here, I could definitely just set up a Tailwind. Could definitely be a solid play for us. I mean, we don't have ability, which is a little rough. I might go here and then, just, you know, just drop a Behemoth Blade into Weezing, maybe? Try to get rid of this thing. I mean, we really don't need too much speed, but I think we should be fine. I'm still going to set up the Tailwind. I'm still going to set up the Tailwind, even though I think he's going to Dynamax Blastoise. And he does not. He goes straight for the Fake Out. The Fake Out's going to poke out. Oh, are you burning me? How dare you? He's going to burn me. He's going to burn me. Hopefully, he misses his will -O -O, so That'll be huge. That could be lovely. That'll be lovely. You son of a biscuit. Oh, and he goes after Aerodactyl. He goes after Aerodactyl. Kind of cool with that. Kind of cool with him going after Aerodactyl. So he fakes out. He kind of rolls out from there. So Aerodactyl's going to take the burn. And we're going to have to double down to this stupid little Weezing. This stupid little Weezing. Do I slow down, everybody? Do I just drop a rock on that thing? I'm just gonna drop a rock there, get some stab damage, and then we, we're going in with Behemoth Blade. Even though I think Weezing might, might have a chance of protecting him. Okay, cool, it doesn't. So Rock Team's gonna fly. Oh, uh, send it that way. Chip up some damage. Behemoth Blade is not gonna take that thing. That's gonna be rough. He's gonna get double burn. Double burn. Physical attack. Oh, we need him to miss this. We need him to miss this. We need him to miss this. Behemoth Blade comes out here, does some big damage. Let's see what he does from here. 
Not another burn. Blizzard coming out here. Things dropping blizzards. Blizzard is coming out here. Shipping up my Aerodactyl. Doing a tiny bit of damage to Zacian. And this thing's going to go for will o -Wisp. And it connects. Two in a row. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh. Oh, that's ugly. That is so ugly. <laughs> that is so ugly. <laughs> that's harsh, dude. That's harsh, if anything. That is so harsh. But Behemoth Blades should still be able to take him out. So I'm just going to drop a Rock Team over on Blastoids. Slow it down a little bit. And I'm just going to go for Behemoth Oh, dude, that's so ugly. That is so ugly. Double will o doing me dirty. And now he's going to Dynamax. I'm cool with that. I have Roboom in the back. I'm really liking that. He probably has Mewtwo and... Uh, Mewtwo and... What's his name? Oh, oh, and Ho oh could be scary. Ho oh is still very, very scary. But I'm going to have to Dynamax my Lily Boom. I could really, really boom. Or I can Dynamax my, uh, my Dialga, which we need to. This is a pretty bulky Pokemon. Okay, this one plays out here. Weezing's going to protect. I knew it, too. I knew Weezing was going to protect. That little booger. That little booger. Rock Team coming in here. And this guy, this guy just had a solid first couple turns here. Putting some burns on my Pokemon. Do me real dirty. Do me real dirty. Behemoth Blade's going to get blocked. And this thing's going to drop its G-Max Hydra Cannon, right? Gonna rip in there. Yep. G Max Canyon 8. That's what it is. That's gonna say bye bye to uh, Aerodactyl. Are you going ever? No, he's gonna go after Zassian. Zassian is uh, oh, probably gonna go down. Burn and Canyon 8 damage. That actually might take out both my guys. Leave me alone. What is this, dude? <laughs> what is this? This is no fun. This is no fun. Burns and Canyon 8 damage. Doing me so dirty. Doing me so dirty. What is this? What is this? Okay, what's my play from here, though? That's the real question. Because I bring out Rillaboom, and I bring out the Alga. And obviously, I kind of want to Dynamax. I want to just Dynamax uh, Rillaboom, but still, Ho-Oh in the back end is going to be scary. It's going to be scary. It's going to be scary. I think we do have uh, G-Max Strike, though. Wait, right? don't we get G-Max Strike? Yeah, we do, but it's like low damage. And you, which is too bad. We're going to have to use it still. I'm just going to go for a solo. He's probably guarding, but at this point, it don't matter because I can just do this and I can do that. So I'm with this whole day. He can guard if he wants. That's totally fine. So I'm going to rip into this. We're going to get rolling with that. We're in a little ditch here. We are definitely in a ditch. We got to pull ourselves out of here and try to win this battle or at least bring it close, you know? But we're going to Dynamax this roll boom. This is exactly why I brought this boy in here. We're going to get amped. We are going to get amped. We are going to get amped. gonna guard yeah he's gonna guard yeah again it, it don't really matter to me if he guards i think i'd rather him guard and this thing has a shukaberry oh that's rough shukaberry can we take it out still take him out still even with the shukaberry oh i love it i love it get that shukaberry out of here so that that's a fine turn oh we get it great that's gorgeous that's gorgeous so he's gonna block this turn and he's gonna have to be forced to throw out another pokemon i'm totally fine i am totally fine with that grassy charge is now out and i think tail one's gonna end which is a little rough but you know it is what it is it is what it is. Definitely is what it is. But Blastoise is still minus one from the Rock Team. What a lovely Rock Team. Something I forgot to mention in uh, the beginning of the video is, you know, your boy over here. As you guys know, I made, like, a little announcement video and everything. I'm teamed up with uh, Sword Star Gaming. I'm on board with them as a nice, lovely content creator on there. And we got some codes for you guys. We got a Rogue Energy Code, 10% off. I'll leave it on the screen. Code Short Circuit. And you, they actually have, like, a shop with Acquire. They're paired up with Acquire to bring you guys, uh, and we're bringing you guys 5% off code over on that as well. So go ahead and link the description below. And first of all, just go follow them all on all platforms. I got all their links down in the description below. They have a little like link tree and all that. And uh, go follow them over there because we have tons of content coming to you guys. Tons of it. Tons of it. Tons of it. I'm going to be playing like Rocket League. We're going to be making some cool videos with them. It's definitely going to be a lot of fun. So if you guys want to catch extra content from me, do me a favor and go ahead over there and hit that follow button. But we're going to drop a nice little G-Max solo. A drum solo over there, and then I'm just gonna go drop a flash cannon into P2. And I'm actually glad he brought P2. I'm actually glad he brought P2. I'm actually glad he brought P2 because I thought like Ho was gonna come out here at this point. That was gonna be tough for us. So flash cannon's gonna come out, come out here. I think he might pop a trick room. This definitely could happen, but G Max Drum Solo is just going to absolutely rip on this box. Blastoids, get on out of here. <laughs> Blastoids, get on out of here. Just dumped on him. Dumped on him, which is gorgeous. Which is gorgeous. So we get rid of that thing. We still have another turn left in a. Uh, G-Max, and hopefully his last Pokemon is going to be uh, Mewtwo, but I think it's going to be Ho-Oh. I don't really mind. I really don't mind Ho-Oh. Actually, I do mind Ho-Oh. I do. He's just going to rip into my Pokemon, and I can't use a Quake on him, which is awful, which is just awful. Can't need any damage. Just chipping through. We're getting some HP back at the same time. A little rough. A little rough. Look at that. Look how much damage does, especially when I'm using Life Orb. My Dialga hasn't even been hit yet. Has he been hit? 
Oh, Diablo hasn't been touched yet. Look at it. Look at just just look at the damage it has. So he popped the trick room. He's gonna throw out his final Pokemon. Is it gonna be Mewtwo? I'm kinda hoping it's Mewtwo. Be Steelix. The Steelix comes out here. No restrict these? Good job of Quake. Good definitely job of Quake. What's gonna do more damage? This thing's base 160. It is stat. I think this does a bit more damage. I think it does a bit more damage. And you know what? I'm just gonna double down on the Steelix here. I'm gonna double down on the Steelix here. Hopefully Steelix isn't protecting. Oh, come on, man. Get out of my face. Please, P2, protect as well. Double down and protect. He's gonna go here. Oh, you son of a biscuit. What a protect. What a protect. I'll give it to him all day. I'll give it to him all day. What a protect. Son of a biscuit. Still dropping the soul over here. Chip up some damage here. Uh, that thing soaks. This thing is so bulky. So bulky, it's ridiculous. Earth's power is gonna fly through here. It's gonna do nothing. In this battle, I don't know how close this battle's gonna be. We have to go after that Steelix. I'm really not worried about the P2. I'm really not worried about the P2 at all. So he has leftovers. <laughs> yeah, I think he's just gonna stall this battle. He does have Trick Room, so he does get to go first, which is really tough. We'll see how this one plays. Canyon is just ripping into me. I think that's might be last turn to Canyon Aid, but it's legit just ripping into me at this point. Look how much damage. I like my Diaga hasn't been touched and it's already at 77. That is insane. That is insane. It would be lower if there wasn't no grass to treat. There was no grass stream, but oh, this battle's looking tough. We did bring it, bring it decently close. I could uh, target down this uh, P2 if I want to. Or I could just go straight for high horsepower. What am I going to do? I think we're going to double down the Steelix here. Actually, I could go for P2, but P2 can protect, so you know what? We're just going to go Earth Power. We're going to double down the Steelix here. Rip into him. Get after him. Iron Defense. Oh, dude, this battle's over with. This battle's 100% over with. He's eerie impulse me. Unless I get a crit with my, uh, with my moves. Then we lost. Area Impulse coming through. Oh, this guy's just pestering me. Yo, GG's this guy. I'm, I'm going to run this battle. This one is 1,000% over. 1,000% over. High horsepower going to come in here. Look how much this thing soaks this up. Oh, that's ugly. That's so ugly. We're minus four here, so we need a crit. Let me crit. Just do it for me. Is that a crit? Dude, that did a lot of damage. That did a ridiculous amount of damage. For no reason. Why did that do so much damage? Is that because this thing's special defense is so low? It makes sense. He's going to protect the Steelix, I think. I think he is going to protect the Steelix. That did a lot of damage for no reason. <laughs> I'm not going to... You know, I'm staying in this battle. <laughs> Hold up. Wait a minute. We're going to grass guide right on over into you. And I'm going to... Uh, I'm just going to flash cannon. Why does this do so much damage? Why did that do so much damage? Or minus four. I think it's because Steelix's special defense is really that bad. He doesn't protect... Oh, you son of a biscuit. He doesn't protect and we're double down to p2 here you go for body press that's gonna hurt that's gonna hurt leave me alone yes yeah, ggs that is definitely ggs now now it is definitely GGs. see this is why sometimes i wish i had protect on uh diablo that place can come in here that's gonna chip up damage and yeah there's no way we can kill the steel the steel is just gonna out bulk us and just win, a, win him the battle but there it is yo battle number one in the bag our opponent's gonna take the cake with that and i'm actually glad he took the cake that's a sick team he has there he's rocking out with steelix he's got p2 and i don't even think he brought a restricted mind he didn't bring Mewtwo or Ho-Oh. I give this dude props, yo. Give this dude props all day. But I was worried about the Ho-Oh all battle, and he didn't even bring it. But yo, Steelix coming in here, grabs our opponent the first battle. I'm just going to run this one. Let's get rolling here in battle number two, ladies and gentlemen. We lost that first battle, but I got to give a round of applause to our opponent. Our opponent just, just made some great plays there. Went in with the burns right off the rip, popped the trick room with P2, and then, you know, that Steelix was awesome. Plus, it was a cool team. So I give him props for winning with that team. But we're hopping into our second battle here. So Galio, Xerneas team with Charizard, Sableye with Sunny Day, if I had to guess. And then you got that Galarian, Zapdos, and Indeedee. Okay, uh, go Speed Control. Speed Control is actually solid here. He's very, very solid. So I could go Aerodactyl alongside with, like, Pokemon like Zacian. But at the same time, that's a little tough because you can set up Xerneas pretty easily. And I'm not about that. I'm not about that. So I'm thinking of just leading, like, double steel guys and ripping into that, right? It does sound gorgeous. It does sound lovely. It does sound really good. So I think I'm going to go in with those two. Lead them to bring in, uh, hmm, bring in you. Yeah, I definitely want Umbreon for the back end. Really, really good with the foul play. And then last but not least, I'm leaning towards just like first turn priority guy here, but I, I, I like my, I really do like the Entei. So you know what? We're going to lock it down. Oh no, who did I bring? I want to lead the Dialga. I want to lead the Dialga. So we're going to lead Dialga, Zacian, bring in Entei and Umbreon. I dig it. Let's lock it down. Let's lock it in. Let's, let's grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. We need this win. We need this win. 
do not want to hop into the third battle being 0-2. That would be awful. That would be awful. We would, we would not like that, but our opponent seems looking really scary. I am scared of the Xerneas setup. Xerneas setup is always scary. Or if he goes into the Charizard Sableye. Oh, oh, please no. Please leave me alone. Leave me alone. What's he doing? Who is that? Okay, so Kaleo indeedy. Um, I, I, I'm not mad. I'm not like that. I think that's fine. That is fine. I think we Dynamax up. I think we Dynamax the Alga here. We just go into a Steel Spike. Just for defensive boost. I feel like the defense boost can just be really helpful for us. Because we can't drop his attack set. We cannot drop his attack set. And eventually we can probably bring out Umbreon and get some work done. But my thing is, I do not want to pop Policy. I do not want to pop that Policy. We know he's rocking with it. I'm going to Behemoth Blade and I'm just, I'm just going to Dynamax. I'm going to Even though it's not very effective, I know it's not going to do that much damage. I have to send it. I have to send it. I have to start getting defense boost. Because he's going to Dynamax. I'm going to Dynamax. I feel like that's, that, it's just our play. It's just our play, right? Let's run it, let's rip through it, and I'm hoping Behemoth Blade could actually just take out Indeedee right off the rip. Because I don't feel like dealing with the following and all that. It's just a ping. It's just a ping. Just a lovely little ping. But yeah, defense boost can just be I do like it. Especially because I think the Alka might be able to outspeed so well. It's going to be kind of close. And if he does, that can be big for us. We get the defense boost before he even hits. And he's not going to Dynamax. Not Dynamax, okay. It's not Dynamax. Fine with that. Behemoth Blade is going to poke, pick up a KO here. Give me a KO. I wonder what Sugoi is doing. Is he popping a Trick Room? Is he Trick Room in it? Does he learn Trick Room? He might. So, solid damage. We do not pick up the KO. Seal Spike's going to fly through. We're rocking defense. Okay, so, indeed he's gone. I do like that. I feel like this thing's popping Trick Room. It's got to be popping Trick Room. It's got to be tricking it up. He's tricking it up. He's going for a normal one. I hope he's going for a normal one. It'll be a little bit better for him. See what he does. Tricky, yeah. tricky trick room here. Now he's probably gonna Dynamax. I guess that's set up. Uh, it's kind of kind of does me dirty, but at least I Dynamax the Dialga. Because if I didn't Dynamax the Dialga, it'd been a little tough for us. So we're sitting plus one on defense. He's gonna throw out his next Pokemon, which is gonna be his Zep. Really fine with that Zep. I'm really fine with that Zep. This makes me kind of want to protect this thing. But uh, just start doubling down in this and just getting rid of him. Right? Steel Spike defense boost. Just let's see if we start start chipping into this thing. Start ripping into him. He's gonna Dynamax Solgaleo all day, and I think he's just going to straight up quake into my. Uh, I think he just straight up quaking into my uh, Zacian. But if I can start getting rid of these left Pokemon, I can bring out Umbreon, Hot Policy, and then just Foul Play and rip. Because Foul Play rips. They rip, especially if Policy's Brock can one tap this any HP. At any HP. But we're hoping this bird doesn't protect. Which it does not. We're gonna quick attack it. Just deal some damage. Chip it up and look how much damage. Actually, really solid. Max Quake's gonna fly through it. Like I said, go in there for my Zassin, right? Gonna take him out. Zassin's finally dead. Oh no, Zassin's so true as well. We love it. We love it. Diago's gonna go next. And we're gonna add another defense boost to us. I think this should be able to take him out. If not, we can just quick attack next turn. That's huge. That's huge. Defense flying through here. KO? Big time KO. Big time KO. It's huge, that is huge. So plus two, so Galio's looking a little he's struggling out here with these defense moves. Good call by me to actually just Dynamax the Alga and get old the Alga. Good old the Alga just bulking through stuff. Making my team just beefy. Beefing it up. Let's see who his final Pokemon is. We already took out two. It's gonna be Zern, and yeah, we we gotta target down that Xerneas. Even though I think he's protecting, we gotta target down that Xerneas. I'm dumb doubling this. I'm not playing with this thing. I'm doubling down into the Xerneas. Keep going. This, we're just going to keep firing at that thing. Yeah, I, kn I knew he was protected, but it's just like, dude, I have to. I have to because I'm not worried about Sogelio. I'm really not. I'm really not. He's going to quake, and my boy Zassi is going to be this up again. Right, Zassi, you eat. Mwah. We love it. We love it. We love it. We have to get after the Xerneas. Target down that Xerneas. I'll get down that Xerneas all day. So we'll get another defense boost here. That's fine. Xerneas going to be able to soak up pretty well here. And I'm just going to quick attack. I'm going to double him down. Into Actually, I don't even think there's a point to. Can we double down? Do I quick attack into Solgaleo? I'm not worried about Solgaleo. I'm not worried about it one bit. I have Umbreon in the back end. If I get rid of the Xerneas next turn, I'm driving. So I'm just, just going to double down into... I'm doubling down into Xerneas here. I play all day. But the question is, do I quick attack? I think I have to quick attack. Just to chip up some more damage. So yeah, I'm gonna quick attack. I'm gonna flash cannon. Because Zassian is fast on the field, and if I don't quick attack, he's just not gonna get off the 
But I might as well just send a quick deck. Oh my god, I, I forgot about the Psychic Tomb. How come it came out the first time? Didn't I quick attack already? Wait a minute. Why did it come out the first time? I'm a little confused. I quick attacked onto that bird. Quick attack onto that bird. I'm a little confused. Eat this up, Dialga. Well, Dialga eats up. I don't know how that quick. Wait. Am I missing something? We quick attacked onto the, the Zapdos. But how? <laughs> but how? I'm a little confused on that. I'm so confused on that. We're gonna lose a little bit of HP. I have Umbreon and Entei in the back end. It's time to bring out Umbreon because uh, Trick Room still got some turns. But that's so weird. So weird. So weird. I'm so confused. On that. It is what it is. It is what it is. We're gonna foul play straight into uh. So okay, I think we might be like we might turn ourselves Trick Room one. Okay, so cool. My uh, my boy can come out here next turn and just outspeed everything. I'm so confused about that. If you guys know how I was able to do that, let me know in the comment section down below. Foul Play's gonna poke here. Look at this damage coming out there. Beautiful damage. He's gonna pop the policy, right? We knew he had it all along. He's gonna be able to do a decent amount of damage. I'm hoping my Umbreon could just stay in here. Okay. Let's see. We just need one of these guys to eat. Uh, let's see. Let's see Strikes can come in here. And who's he gonna go after? He gotta be going after Umbreon and then just Daz and Gleeman, right? Oh, that's double kill. Oh, that's scary. That's scary. So he gets the double kill. Who do I take out from here? I have Entei. I have Entei. I could go into a Bulldoze. Bulldoze might be able to do, do the work. Bulldoze might be able to do the work. I, I have speed all day. I have speed all day. I'm going to go into Entei. Oh, dude, this is tough. It's real tough. <laughs> this is real tough. Last Pokemon out on the field. So Galia really poses that threat. I kind of want to get rid of him. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to target down him. What choice? We're just hoping Solgaleo doesn't protect. If Solgaleo protects me, we, we probably lose this. Because I know I can eat up whatever Xerneas has to offer. I can't eat up what Solgaleo has to offer. So I have to target down Solgaleo. I have to get effort to battle this way. No one passes on the field. I know we're thriving. I know we're thriving. No first turn priority. So if Solgaleo doesn't protect, that's GG's. That is GG's. Let's see what he does. I think he's going to I think he's gonna uh, not protect. There it is. Beautiful. Sacred Fire comes through. Mwah. Mwah. Get this thing out of here. I know Xerneas cannot KO me. Unless he gets like a massive crit, which I'd cry a little bit. So I would cry. I would definitely cry. And he's gonna go for a ooh. Oh, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. What a play. What a play. He's going he's gonna be No way he just geomancer. No shot, he just did that. Can we? I don't know if we can outspeed him. We gotta go for a flare blitz, though. I'm choosing the sacred fire, but that's totally fine. He's gonna win. Eat this, yo. Eat this somehow. Awesome. Awesome. I love you. Sacred fire comes through here. Dope. Oh my god, yo. He had me rattled in my boots for a little bit. This dude had me rattled. That was a great play by him. It was like a last ditch effort. But I thought that moon blast could have KO me. That last battle had me shaking a little bit. I really did think our opponent was going to win after that Geomancer. Because I knew we could soak up a shot. But once he set up the Geomancer, I was like, oh god, he has speed now. He's plus two on special attack. He's going to pick up that KO. But luckily, my boy soaked it up. We were able to grab ourselves a win here. But we're hopping into our third and final battle. Let's grab ourselves a winning record here. We're going up against the Yvelta Zassian team with Tapu Lele. Alongside with, uh, what is that, Landorus, Regilecki, and Ghost. Very strong team. Very, very strong team. All right. Uh, bum, 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 bum. What do I want to? How do I want to roll this one? How do I want to roll this one? I'm gonna go Aerod I think Aerodactyl would be great for speed. I'm gonna go Aerodactyl. Uh, Aerodactyl, maybe? I could lead Umbreon and maybe yawn somebody right off the bat. That ain't too shabby. It's not too shabby, but I, I think I'd rather have like a bigger attack route on the at that point. All right, we could go Dialga. We could go Dialga and just Dynamax him. I'm thinking just Dialga Dynamax right off the rip. Bring Zassian, and then last but not least. Could go Rillaboom, but I'm like an Entei. I am like an Entei. Oh, Entei? We're, it's either Entei or Umbreon, I feel like. It's my better two options. Let's go Entei. Let's roll out with Entei. I am digging it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's go. Winning record time. Let's get it. Let's get it. I'm hoping I can. Hoping I can. I'm, I'm struggling a little bit with this team. It seems a little... It's it's not my play style, in my opinion. It's not my play style, in my opinion, but... You know, we try to make it work for you. We try to make it work for you guys. And we try to make... Or not we. Me. I try to bring you guys some awesome content. 
Let's see who this guy's gonna lead. He's gonna end up leading the Yvelt alongside the Grimmy Grim. Okay, so, uh, I'm totally fine with that. I'm, I feel like Dynamax could be good for us. I think I might Dynamax. Dynamax Tailwind? Sounds pretty, sounds pretty neat. Sounds pretty neat. No, not you, Dynamax. I want to I just want to Tailwind you, and I want to Dynamax the other. And the question is, do I go for a Steel Spike and just get rid of you? Or do I go after that, uh, or do I go for a Quake? Just get a special defense boost. I feel like Steel Spike. Just get off some big guys. Trying to pick a better early oh, here. Let's not play all day. But we Dynamax. Man. We get an after. Dialga. I love Dialga Dynamax. I really do. He's really good in Trick Room or in Talon. It's like that. That's mediocre speed. But if you can take speed control with him, he hits so hard. He hits so hard. Same thing with Palkia. Him and Palkia are pretty similar. I just feel like Dialga has a little bit of an upper edge. Just due to its, uh... Due to its, uh, Steel and Dragon typing. Oh, no. They're both. They're both the typing is awesome. They really are. He's going to end up Dynamaxing you about though. No bueno, no bueno. We do not like that. We do not like that. But still, Tailwind should be easy, easily uh, to get up. Unless he's faking me out. Oh, unless he's faking me out. We don't like fake out. But if, yeah, if I can get off this Tailwind, I'd really do that for some Because one Steel Spike should just be able to dump on a Grimmy Grim. No problem. The one plays out. He's going to trick me. Okay, so he's going to take my Focus Ash. What's, what's he, what's he going to give me? What's he giving me? What are you giving me? An Iron Ball. Oh, God. Can we still maybe outspeed? That's rough. Rough. Just tricky. But still, no screens. We like that all day. Took my Focus Ash. That's why. You little biscuit. I hate this game. I hate this game. Took my Focus Ash. I need my, I need my Tailwind. He's got to be going after my... uh. got to be going after my Aerodactyl, right? Dark, darkness coming in here. Aerodactyl, eat this up. He's dead, isn't he? All day. God, man. My Focus Ash. My Focus Ash. How you doing me like that? How you going to do me dirty like that? How you gonna do me dirty? Though? Okay, uh, what is the play here? What is the play? I could bring out Ente, or I could bring out my my boy. We can come out. Lean towards Zaz. I am definitely leaning towards Zaz. And save my save my choice scarf guy for the back end. Uh, I could quick attack and take out Grimstar, no problem. Uh, I could Behemoth Blade and go into a Quake, which I'm kind of leaning towards. I am kind of leaning towards that. Just go on Behemoth Blade, yeah, and then into Quake. Might play all day. We'll take a special defense boost. We'll pose that threat with the Behemoth Blade. He probably sets up a Reflect here, right? Scary. He's coming. You do look. I hate, I hate this Grimstar. Grimstar is a pain. Such a good Pokemon. It is such a good Pokemon. Good thing Dialga goes first, though, because Quake allows us to get that special defense boost, and I think that special defense boost allows my Zassian. And if Zassian can soak up the shot and get off Behemoth Blade, I think we're sitting pretty in this battle. I think we are sitting real pretty in this battle. But there's one KO there. That Grimstar with that trick. That, that did a, he got a lot of value out of that Grimstar. When he shouldn't have. When he shouldn't have. He goes for a fire. Oh, can we eat up this fire? I think we should. I think we should be fine on fire. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Run it up. Give me this Behemoth Blade. Give me this Behemoth Blade. We know it's doing a lot of damage. Might even pick up the KO. Wouldn't be surprised. Look at this thing. The most OP move in all in all Pokemon right all of Pokemon Sword and Shield. Look at this. Look at this damage. Oh my lord. It's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Now, can a quick attack KO that? I don't... It might. <laughs> it might. I think I'm going to go for it. I think I'm definitely going to go for it. We know my Dialga outspeeds him, which is gorgeous. Then I can just Steel Spike on the other side. It really depends who he brings out. Because then I saw my Choice Scarf Boy, and he brought the heat. And he brought the heat, so my Flare Blitz or my Sacred Fire could do a lot more damage. Mwah. We like you. Thank you. Thank you for that Flare you built. Thank you. I really appreciate it. How are you? How are you? Reggie's gonna come out here. Oh, Reggie's kind of scary. Still gonna quick attack. Get a quake. A quick attack and quake. Special attackers out on the field. A quick attack and a quake. Quick attack and quake. I think he's gonna go for the E-Web, but still, we're bulked up. We're bulked up. We're gonna see. Maybe this quick attack can do can do me real good here. Get a quick attack. Oh man, dude! <laughs> I was hoping Bolt Switch gonna poke here, and oh, that's so lovely that my guy eats there. That's so lovely. And who's he gonna Bolt Switch into? Might be forcing a Quake to dodge it. Let's see what he's doing. A solid Bolt Switch. Solid Bolt Switch, but not good enough. Goes in his Ashian. Take that all day. Take a nice little Quake in his Ashian. Love it. I love it because then I can Quick Attack into that thing too. Yo, first Quake is flying. Quake is flying. I think we're sitting really good. Pokemon that we have left. Play comes through here. And we bring this thing down to one. Okay. Alright. Let's see who uh Yvelta's gotta be going after Dialga. And I 
think. I think if we just roll into a quick attack on the Zacian. Oh, we, we gotta make sure you belt it goes after Diaga. For that, right? Yeah. Okay, so it goes after Diaga. That's cool. Because we know our Diaga outspeeds that you belt. Oh, that's fucking sucker punch. So we should be able to eat up a sword. I think we should be able to eat up a sword. Oh, when he goes down life. Oh, no. Battle's over. Battle's over. Actually, no. Zacian's gonna protect the sword. What's he gonna do? E web, maybe? I think we're fine. I think, we're fine. I think I'm over. Reggie's gonna come at, back out here. I think he, he's gotta protect Zacian, right? But I don't wanna make the hard read. He's not wanna read, oh, overread it, right? But overread it? I th I th no, you know. Zacian's got he, Zacian's protecting. I'm like, dude, I'm 100% on that. Zacian is protecting, so you know what? I'm gonna just double down on Reggie. Right Zacian is 10,000% protecting. There's no doubt in my mind. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You can say, I'm not overthinking this. I know he's protecting. He protects. We're going to quick attack on this slot. What's he going for? A bolt switch. He's going to take on my Zacian. Earth power can come through here. And then I have Entei in the back end with that choice card. Mwah. Your boy. Power moves. Power moves and power moves only here. Power moves and power moves only. This thing was probably Sash too. So he was thinking. He blocks my quick attack. He takes out Zacian. He uses Sash. But I still think, for, like, regardless, we would have been fine. Because, again, we had this point. He would have outsped everything, could have just taken out Zassian, was able to eat up any shots that that Reg like had. All. Yeah, it's over. GG's. G to the G's. Cancel the battle, please. And I'm going to go for a flash cannon. GG's. Cancel the battle, please. That rhymes. And we're going to take this winning record. Go ahead, cancel. It's over. You're not, you have no shot. Zassian has no double hitting moves. And there it is. Winning record for today's video. Not a bad set of battles for today's video. Ended up going 2-1 and, and grabbing ourselves a winning record. First battle we lost, our opponent played a great game. Second battle was a game of inches. And then a third and final battle, we got rolling with the squad and we dominated for the victory. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash the like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive every day and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.